Okay, here we are at CabSat TV and looking at some of the technology which is around the halls. This piece of kit, uh, tell me exactly, Martin, what this is. This is our lightweight telescopic camera crane called Technocrane 22, which means 22 feet maximum lens height. The payload for camera is 12 kilograms, which are the most uh, broadcast cameras. And this crane is also equipped with targeting computer for for a preset of six camera positions. And this is used in film and broadcast? Uh, mainly for TV, but also for some commercials and uh, film. Good product, thank you very much, Martin, thank you. Okay, so that's the Techno Crane running out at a massive speed with a big camera on the end, using sports broadcasting, news broadcast as well. Let's go and have a look at some cameras. So here we are, key manufacturer of cameras, of course, Panasonic. And at this year's CabSat, introducing a few new lines. And if you follow me through here, we have a couple of new products. All these broadcast studio cameras, great kit from Panasonic. Here I have David. David, this is a new camera. Tell me a little bit about this, a very quick soundbite. Hi, Andy. This is our Vericam LT. This is our cinema and filmmaking camera. It's a mid-range camera. It's a dual native ISO with 800 and 5000. It's capable to do UHD, 4K and HD. And it's based on a P2 card also. And it can do a dual recording as well. So you future-proof this camera for many years to come? Yes, for sure. We just launched the camera like a few months back and it's uh, top of, our, of the range of our product lineup in the cinema and we have a lot of demand on this camera at the moment. And I like it as well, David. I'll be back a little bit later for mine. Just pop that in a bag. OK, so that's cameras. We've recorded on the jib. We have the camera. We also need some sound editing. So let's go to Avid. And here we are then on the Avid stand and looking in here, and this full edit facility. Uh, joined now by Dave. Dave, explain to me what we can see in here and how this works very quickly. Yes, yeah, so we've got our flagship Avid S6 console uh, with a Pro Tools HDX system and our brand new uh, Pro Tools Matrix audio interface, all set up for this fantastic Dolby Atmos presentation. So you can see above you, there's 11 speakers here and a subwoofer under there showing how Pro Tools interact with Dolby Atmos for film workflows and so on. And people are really interested in you know, these immersive sound workflows. That's what we're showing here. Capsat. And you've had great uptake on this so far, I hear? We have, yes. And this is the first time we've actually got this configuration at the show in the Middle East. So we're really trying to you know, get to sort of more traction in, in the Middle East and get more studios mixing in Atmos. Loads of people are doing now across the world in the US and, and Asia and Europe. And so, yeah, if we can get more people mixing in Atmos and creating more content, that'd be good for everyone. Dave, thank you very much for your time. Great. Thank you. So a key industry player there, Avid. And a great, uh, a great setup there, as Dave was saying, the first time it's been displayed in the MENA region. OK, so now we need to look at studio facilities. And of course, you can go for the traditional bricks and mortar, or you can go for something a little bit more virtual. So let's go and try and find, let's go and try and find some green screen. And here we have a green screen studio. Now, you might recognize this because we've been using this for CabSat TV during the week. And if we go over here, we can get a little bit of uh, information on this from, uh, from the data video team. Explain to you what we have here and how, how we've been using this this week very quickly. Well, this is uh, it's a really easy to operate uh, virtual studio. We saw that on your operators. Uh, they came in, we had the system up and running. Um, I was ready to give them some brief training, but they said, oh, please leave it. We already know how it works. And uh, that's what, what data video is all about, making um, studio equipment, broadcast equipment, uh, easy to operate, easy to understand. So yeah, this um, virtual studio solution, which is a two camera solution actually. Um, now the way your guys are using it. Sure, uh, sure. So you have a total shot and you have a close up from, uh, from the guest you're having. Very easy to use. Uh, thank you very much for your time this week. It's been great. Sure. Okay, no so now let's go and find one of the key new products that have been announced here at CabSat 2070. We're saving the best to last. This is a new launch product it's on the Canon stand. And if we go over here, I think we'll be able to have a quick word with someone to find out exactly what this camera is capable of doing. 
Hello, Paul. Hello. Paul from Canon, pleased to have you on Campsat TV. We saved the best of last, I just said. Well, absolutely. New product launching here. Yes, uh, first I'll be shown in this region the C700. This is our new flagship uh, production camera, uh, really aimed at, uh, within this environment, the top level drama broadcast uh, series, all being made in a very much cin cinematic way now. Uh, equally at home on a cinema set, uh, and also for documentary use, etc., due to its versatility. And you're a key player in the region. Uh, this caps out for you this year, been very good? It seems to be good, yeah. I mean, we've had an awful lot of, uh, of interest in it. I think visitor numbers are down a little bit over the last year, particularly. Um, but the peak hour stand's always been full, which is always nice. Uh, and a lot of interest in the C700. OK, it's a great camera, the C700. I will be back in a second to have a little play. Thank you very much, Paul. So there we go. The fantastic product launched right here at Capsat 2017, the Canon C700. And for full information on this amazing camera, you'll find it all, of course, at capsat.com.